what's up everybody welcome back to my channel if you're new you are definitely welcome and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for tuning in yet again love you for watching in any case please do make sure that you subscribe if you haven't subscribed already uh so today's video is a little bit different i'm with uh, they call her mlunga because <laughs> this is my sister some of y'all have been asking me when we are when are we gonna do another video together because I think maybe you guys don't like me. I don't know. Uh, they like you. They wouldn't be subscribed, eh? Huh? <laughs> True. In any case, today's guest is the a beautiful. I need like a po 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 po. I'm gonna insert it. Po 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 po. There I can't be. Then you're gonna be dancing, man. <laughs> Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Whoa, too much to <laughs> Um, hello, everybody. My name is Yenzi, and I'm a younger sister. No, oh, I'm, I'm the younger sister. sister. <laughs> that line has been going on for years. <laughs> So today's video is just uh, random questions. We put up uh, ask us questions on Instagram, mm -hmm. and also some questions we're gonna mix them together with some questions we found on the net. So we're just gonna be chatting with you guys, um, answering your questions. Some of y'all who ask us questions on Insta. So hope you guys tune in. Thank you so much. Like the video, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. So first question is. Da -da 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 -da. What's the one thing you should never say at a wedding? The worst possible offense you could ever do is to the bride at a wedding. So maybe the worst thing you could say is like, oh, that dress makes you look fat. True, true. Yeah. For me, I would say the worst thing you could possibly say is, wow, your ex was better. <gasps> oh my God, Sanchada. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, I the bride your evil or the groom it's like really bitch oh I can't swim this time. <laughs> <laughs> move the right to that like a question <laughs> what is the worst pickup line you've ever heard can I start mm -hmm. my size mm -mm. Mm -mm. I am not just I my size guys I, I you get that I, a lot mm -hmm. Deppen boys. Mm -mm. I don't know. I have a love hate relationship with this thing. It's a do do do. This is then they continue. One, 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 one. I, I was like, hey, I don't like this thing because it just draws attention and they have to shout. But now when they say do do do, I'm like, <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like it now. I don't know. I, I, Next question. Um, I don't think this qualifies for you, but have you ever been stalked or have you ever stalked someone on social media? Obviously. Who have you stalked? Who have you stalked? MCM. Every day, oh, all yeah. day. Every mm. day. Now my search is deep. You know, he's like funny. I go to the guy and the guy and I go to the girl that's been liking the guy mm -hmm. and I go to the girl <laughs> and you find that girl's friend uh -huh. to see that do they know that about this, this guy. guy to so see. you check all that his mm -hmm. likes and you check the list mm -hmm. of the friends mm -hmm. if the, like if everything mm -hmm. coincides together if mm -hmm. it does no mm -hmm. so yeah out. I've stopped that and there's always that Becky commenting all the time no. By the way, this MCM is not even a boyfriend. <laughs> mm. Okay. What is your favorite celebrity scandal? It would have to be Jay Z being beaten up by Solange, cause for me that is a radicalist. Like that's what sisters are for. If you mess up, we will beat you. No time to play. I like I like that scandal. And I felt like Beyonce, Beyonce at the time couldn't maybe say the words that she wanted to say like right now to the guy, to Jay-Z and Solange was there to interpret for him. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I felt like, 
I was like, yes, girl, interpret it. Mm. <laughs> I don't care if you're gonna forgive him tomorrow, but the mere fact that he knows that he messed up, he must know that. That was the scandal. My best, most favorite scandal was when. What are you doing? Wendy Williams' husband got served divorce papers after he then screwed up. Like that was it for me. By the way, her wow, other mother is Wendy wow, Williams. Wow, wow. <sighs> out the park, man. Out the park. That was just extreme. And now he's broke. He's broke. He's pawning his jewelry. He's trying to survive. He has a baby. He has to feed. This is what you get. Why do you do that? I'm not saying anything, but look at God. Mm-hmm. The hand of God. Okay. Uh, next one. If you could do anything illegal without getting caught, what would you do? Obviously, rob a bank. Jeffos. Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna rob a bank, take the money, bury it, bury it. Swiss bury account, it. everywhere. That's it. Yeah. Same thing. I'll rob a bank. No, don't tell anybody. Yeah. Not even her. Yeah, I, I wouldn't even eat. <laughs> but I'd maybe just that. buy you a car. And then I'd say I won a car a spa. <laughs> and I thought I'd just give you to you, sis. Seriously. Mm-hmm. That's the only thing I'd do. Mm-hmm. But I wouldn't tell you that I have money. I wouldn't tell anybody. Mm-mm. I don't know if I'll type. Does no. this mean we don't trust each other? No, I don't trust nobody. Oh, I would type. Wait, but I wouldn't type the whole sum as in like two. You obviously. <laughs> what? No, 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 no. Uh, no. Uh. I'll pay it in drips and drips. So it's not obvious that I stole money. Obvious. You have to be smart with money, guys. Yes. I, I can't just drop 10 M. No <laughs> way. No way. No way. They, they're gonna trace the church account, then trace it back to me, and then now. That's a I'm, lot of things. It's a lot of things. I'm not doing drips and drips. Yeah. For ten years, I'm Pay just tithing. Pay your tithe, your ten years, offer, you know, J. Do all, as thou heart leadeth. Mm-hmm. Cause I don't want to get caught. No. Okay. Um. What is the weirdest food combination you've ever tried? I've once tried pickles um with hot sauce. And I just find that I don't like hot sauce and I don't like pickles either. So, no more. Well, I actually liked what I tried. What I tried try? dipping, uh, I almost said Mr. Fried, <laughs> McDonald's fried chips uh, on an Oreo ice cream. Oh, people do that, eh? They yes. like that. Low gym. And milkshakes and things. I don't like milkshakes, but for me, the hard food must not mix, mix with the soft food. Someone who tried hot sauce. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What is? Uh, have you ever been on a blind date? Yes, I was. Oh my god, it was the sweetest guy. I was in the trick. Saya, so, yeah, uh, what's that pizza place before you get into town? Yeah, it does. Yeah, Belu. Mamma Mia. Yes, we went to Mamma Mia. He was the sweetest guy. Guys, I've never. Got in contact with him ever again. What and happened? I have no clue. I don't know whether I lost his number or he lost my number, but we just never. Because I saw him once in town. He was like, Can I give your number? And I gave him my number. And I was like, Can I take you out on Monday? And we were not in school. So I was like, No, it's cool. No problem. And mom was at work. So I was like, Okay. And then I went there. The nicest time. The, he was a gentleman. Like, he opened the door for me, opened the chair. You know, it was like, but I never connected with that guy again. Yo, so sad. Wow. I don't even remember his name, to be honest. Wow, that's sad. So the one that got away. I don't understand none of that situation. Every time I look at my life, I'm like, what was happening here? But in any case. You know, I'm afraid of the killer, so I would never <laughs> go on a blind date. Mm-hmm. Well, uh-huh. does it also count as a blind date because we met in town? But you met once. Well, he could have told you either, oh, so it's still a blind kind of date. Yeah, true. Because you could have walked into your death and died. <laughs> anyway, um, what are the top three things to do on your packing list? <sighs> hey, deep little question. Because there's a lot of things. But to be honest, (laughs) 
Crickets. Wow. <laughs> Why are we even taking this little life, man? Because it is. Eh? Bucket list. I don't think for me it's, it's not so much of a bucket list. I don't know if I ever get there, but like I want to have lots of money. That's the only thing that I want. Yeah, I feel like when I have lots of money, I'll be able to do everything that I want. Whether I want to go to bungee jump off the Eiffel Tower or whether I want to go skinny dipping in Indonesia, mm. probably not now because of the Rona. So I don't know. I just don't have money. If that's a bucket list, I'm digging on that. It's gonna sound so more, 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 but for me is I feel the having lots of money, but I just wanna my bucket list just is, consists of uh, helping people, not in a sense of maybe money or whatnot, but enlightenment. I don't know. I, it's a lot. We get you, Mr. Lunch. <laughs> How do you think you will die? I think peacefully. I will never have pain. Yeah, I think I have this conversation with God all the time. <laughs> like you ask him how you going to die? Not ask. I request. Not no, ask him to tell me how I will die. Uh, like, like, please, just let like, me go smooth. Can I just wake up, never wake up in the morning, like die in my sleep? That's my favorite thing to do anyway, sleep. So, yeah. just imagine. Yeah, mm. I don't think I want to get sick. I mean, even if I can walk to heaven, like that guy in the Bible. I'll be happy with that. That's like walking forever. Ah, someone Listen. walked to heaven. He walked and he walked and he walked to heaven. <laughs> I'll find that story. I'll just link it here. The verse. Ah, he walked and he walked. I like that. The thing is, for me, I don't want to have a death that is so traumatic to the people that I left behind. Mm -hmm. You don't understand? Yeah. I don't want to do that to people. I don't want to but i also i would like my spirits to be aware that it's time for me to go to oh they tell you no know. maybe like a week before so i can just spend they time. say you know so it's literally they're like no maybe How the people that know because all the ones who knew are dead they're not maybe the ones that about. don't know is the ones that they were stolen you were let with the you were set in the trap to die today but the ones that god chamblania could come and tell you that you are done here sugar it's cool. Yeah, I kind of had that feeling when I had that. I'd love that. Yeah, tell me, I'm like, guys, chat is some good. Bye. Yeah. No, I'm not afraid of death, by the way. It's so creepy, but yeah. Wow. It's <laughs> <laughs> the girl on the no, other side. To be honest, oh, I, it's not a fear. It's really not. I mean, I, I'm afraid of it, because, but at the same time, I feel like I cannot run away from it. Mm. That's how I feel like. But at the same time, I'm not someone who's going to be like, test me, death. Come <laughs> test through, me. Come through. What, um, you, what you have to do? Mm -mm. I'm not mm. nervous about it at all. Okay, next question. Mm -hmm. What has been the lowest point of your life? Not having money. I can't say what exactly, but it was the situation came about because I did not have money. And that was just lowest and ebology you're so low and literally it's as if god is looking in your face and is like girl what are you doing and i'll be like oh my god yeah that sucked sad time mm -hmm. i think the lowest point of my life was when we were homeless yeah, I'm talking about those situations. You remember? Oh, you just don't want to mm. for YouTubers. Mm. Is it, they were depressing times. They were depressing. I remember there was this one time I couldn't like hear anyone. I couldn't speak, and I went to church. We went to church, grew up to church, and when we got in, I'm looking around. I'm not recognizing anything or anyone, and I just walked out. I literally walked at night That's to cool. Charles' house. Eh. Hey. I walked and I was thinking, why would I walk at night? I remember, well, first of all, everybody knows I don't walk at night. And I don't go out at night because I'm scared of the dark. But I'm scared of the night. But that was a weird situation. That's when I knew my mind was not with me. Like it had left me. I feel like, you know, what I, I remember clearly about those days, it's how I was always cold. You know, like when you don't have, um, warm clothes 
and you're wearing your, your summer clothes through winter. winter and you have no choice i've never felt winter like i felt winter that year in yeah. Durban. and Durban is so hot guys like warm. in winter mm. it, 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 it's winter not that like warm deep. yes mm. but i just remember that year being constantly cold i know someone made fun of me they said um, yeah um why am i wearing uh they didn't understand i guess but they're like why are you wearing a summer dress in winter mm. it's a tailwind lamp and i'm you're gonna you're gonna get cold mm. like basically insinuating that i was trying to get attention from people by wearing a dress in the in cold winter. which doesn't make sense yeah i was just cold and you I, as I, a rational I, person you would think and understand what's going on but we you. have those people yeah you people. Us. thank you yeah Oof, jesus christ if you could ask for a miracle, what would it be? There can be miracles mm-hmm. Excluding money When you exclude money? Excluding money Excluding money I have to think of it. it's a miracle For me, since I think I've been I was so stupid But I would literally wish for dad to come back. What? I know. I feel like um he's missing out on the best life. Best not, years of not life. He's missing out. I feel like life would have been a whole lot differently. I feel like That's okay. sometimes um some of our struggles would have not happened. Mm. Of some how, things were unnecessary yes, because of how he was. And I even feel like it probably would have even affected how I interacted with men, for instance. So I feel I genuinely feel like that would be my number one miracle. Like 2007 wouldn't happen. He would live through. Yeah. yeah. How about you? Now you just made me sad. <laughs> Why? Well, for me, a miracle, but it's it's. You, yes, you know, there are the things, even if you wish for peace, but you have to have unpeaceful times to recognize that you need peace and you are grateful for peace. So I can't say world peace or, you know, I don't know, I don't think I have a miracle in mind as yet. But one thing I would maybe just want to wake up in is my establishment. One thing I wish I'll just wake up and be like, Oh, I'm here now. Hey, I'm a rod. Oh, it's my tea. <laughs> like, ah, hey. I hate this question. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. What is it? Where do you see yourself in five years? Oh, that first date question. I like to ask this question because I don't I know what I'm saying. Five years. Having a kid or two, that's five years. Having a kid or two, possibly with a life partner. What else? Also, establishing my business. I could say that. Saved money enough for a vacay. <laughs> Are we going on vacation in December, child? I wanted to elaborate. Oh. A vacay where i would feel free to shop like a vacay in paris you know like, like the guy shop like crazy so to cut you there was this guy who told his family his whole family like all 15 of them mm. told them they're flying somewhere for a vacation they're gonna be there for two weeks and not pack any luggage because they're gonna buy stuff when they get there well not there but <laughs> you don't us behind. no i'll get you stuff from there but it depends how much money I have. If I'm mom kids, I could fly you all out. <laughs> but if I'm not mom kids, yeah. my favorite. <laughs> I can't do that. And also, what is the first one? Oh, possibly we have done something for oh mom. Nah, something nyana. You know, I don't know, but it will depend what they want at the time. Whether they want a new house or renovated house. Yeah, something like that. Renovated house, engine. 
something that will establish them now, make them comfortable in the years to come, over 60, 70 years ago. Mm. Yeah. Five years. Yeah. I don't like this question. Why? I feel like instead of looking ahead, I always look back. What if five years ago I should have done this by now? Most so of it's a very stressful question to answer. Mm. But hopefully, I mean, I love love. I hope I would have met at least my forever by then. True. Um, Jay, we demand that, to be honest. I'm not sure about kids, so. <laughs> so I'm not sure. And nephews. Well, you got brothers too, Charles. You got yeah. two brothers. But they weren't gonna be your babies. I can babysit all your kids, guys. I have to tell people, like, your mom was like this. You know, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, work. I mean, work was obviously always trying to strive better. Mm. You, I, I feel like though, I hope that five years from now, I would have taken the leap of faith and actually started that business. Okay, that I've always wanted to do, instead of being held back by fear, basically. That's basically, yeah. So they're hopeful. And these are the answers we gave the dates. I, I, I don't go on dates. <laughs> and I ask you, what do you want to do? Do you see yourself in five years? I don't go on dates though. Okay, let's move on. I was about to say something. <laughs> what is the biggest risk you've ever taken? Me was cutting my hair. I Me think. was uh, pushing myself with makeup. And not a lot of people. That wasn't their favorite thing for me to do, so still is not for some. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, I think it was cutting my hair. Oh, but true, it, it true, is grown back. <laughs> Guys, don't cut your hair. <laughs> it was such a nice. That for Funga just cut hair. Oh, good luck. <laughs> it was a nice thing, nice feeling. I could dye my freedom. hair. Freedom. I was platinum blonde. For you, no? mm. and Jay, I was pretty little mistake, but I grew out of it because I wanted braids. I wanted all these things in my hair, so I've been struggling. So it was for a time, yeah. yeah. It's cute when you have gonna have it for a short time. It's cute if your hair grows fast. Hey guys, we have to end the video here. We just noticed it's just too long, and I don't want you to be sitting here for forty something minutes just staring at us, even though we are beautiful and we are terrible. <laughs> but <laughs> it's just not fair on anyone to watch a video that long thank you so much for chilling with us thank you so much for your questions on your insta if we didn't read your question we will do this again because we still have a few more questions left uh she will be back yes you Hasta la vista, baby yeah thank you for hanging out with us guys have a lovely day stay safe stay sanitized stay clean we love you and we'll see you later. Keep a meter distance.